Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching and welcome back. In today's video, I'm doing my day two of the vegan challenge week. So if you want to see what I ate in this particular day, let's just get started. For breakfast, I had a banana peanut butter cinnamon smoothie so I chucked in a few frozen bananas that I froze overnight along with some almond milk this is the original one and also some peanut butter you can add any type of butter almond butter or cashew butter and then I just blend that up I added a little bit more almond milk to make it a little bit more liquidy and then I added some cinnamon and I love the way the cinnamon makes this taste and then I just transfer that to my glass and I also had a melon with some grapes um, you just buy them from the store like this and I love watching cooking videos whilst eating my breakfast and then I will just have that whilst doing some emails and I love picking at this melon like this it's so casual and so refreshing and then for lunch I had a sweet potato um, this is quite a large sweet potato so what I do is I literally wash it and just cover it in foil and then I'll put it into the oven for about an hour and 15 minutes because this was quite a large sweet potato it took some time to cook but then I just pierced it with a fork to make sure that it was fully cooked and then I just rest that aside to cool and then I also served it with some veggie mints that I had for dinner last night and I also sprayed it with some hummus. It's so delicious and so creamy and if you want to see how I make this veggie mince, I will link my first day of my vegan challenge and this was the verdict. So for dinner I had um, veggie risotto and this is my veggies that I'm using so I just like using colorful veggies and I start off by just chopping up an onion. For my green vegetable, I'm using baby marrows and I like to dice these in small cubes so they are easy to eat. I also sliced a red and orange pepper in little long strips just for a variance of shape in my meal. So I'm just slicing that up and then I will add it to the rest of my veggies. Mushroom flavored risotto is my favorite and I like to add lots and lots of mushrooms as they shrink down quite a bit when you're cooking them. So I'm just slicing these up into smaller pieces. And that is all the veggies that I will be using for my risotto. So I start off by heating up some extra virgin olive oil in a pan and then just sauteing the onions until transparent and cooked. I'm measuring out about a cup of risotto rice and then I will just add that to my sautéed onions. As you can see they are pretty caramelized and I will just cook the risotto with the onions for about a minute or two so that they can just soak up the lovely flavor of the onions. So I used one part rice and two parts of boiling water and to the boiling water I will add one cube of these garden vegetable stock cubes and then I will just stir that up to dissolve it and then I will add that to my rice. And then stir that up until it's well combined and then pop on the lid and let that simmer for about five minutes. For my mushrooms I will just fry them or cook them in some olive oil and then I will add my peppers and my baby marrow. So after about five minutes the risotto will look something like this and now I want to add lots and lots of garlic. I love the garlic taste in risotto and after about 10 minutes this is what the risotto looks like and I just want to add a tiny bit of almond milk just to give it that extra creaminess. And then I just pop that into a dish along with the veggies and that is my dinner. Um, I love this dinner, it's so comforting and it was raining on this night so it was so yummy. Uh, make sure to check out my day one of my vegan challenge and subscribe if you want to see more videos. I also do beauty videos if you want to check them out. But until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!